Hi guys, I'm back and I truly don't know where to begin with the week that I've had. Um, I can definitely say that reality has hit <laughs> full force, um, that this is not going to be a piece of cake. It's not going to be easy for me. This is going to be hard. <laughs> so we started this week, um, this whole week actually was a week of an intensive class called spiritual integration. And it was with uh, the president, Rich, the president of the school, Rich. Um, it was an amazing course, I have to say. Uh, made you dive deep and um, work up some stuff <laughs> in yourselves. Um, and I think that's part of the reason why maybe I've struggled this week. Um, so the very first day, Monday, everything was going good. Um, and then I got the syllabus. <laughs> and then he went through all of the um, pro all of the assignments that are going to be due over the next week um, and over the next couple of weeks. And that's when I officially started feeling feeling overwhelmed. Um, and uh, then I went home that night and I had a paper to do. So during the course of the course, the intensive course, we had to do a, um, a video testimony of our spiritual walk. Um, and before that, we had to write a paper to go with the video. So we had to be able to write, um, put out a timeline of what we wanted to talk about. Uh, and that was really hard for me. Um, it was Number one, hard for me because it was in an essay form. <laughs> Number two, I was really wondering how I was going to fit my spiritual walk in five to six minutes, which was very difficult for me. So I rewrote the paper about five or six times because I had to condense. I had to um, think of a way to write it that was shorter, um, more condensed, but uh that Monday, I, <laughs> and I'm going to really try to not to cry during this video because that's what this week has been for me. Um, it's been very emotional. Uh, so if you hear my voice quivering, I'm doing my best uh, not to cry. Um, so the Monday night, I started this paper and not even the Monday night, I actually was doing dinner and I was starting the paper and the girls were doing their own thing. And I was doing the paper for a couple hours here and there um, while the girls were up. Um, and then I did my best to try to spend time with them. Um, and then I went back to it at night and I literally didn't finish this paper till like 1230 or one at night. It was like five, five, maybe even more than that, five hours that it took me to do this paper. <laughs> so. I literally started feeling very overwhelmed, very discouraged, wanting to, my immediate reaction, my immediate thought was, I just want to give up. This is too hard for me. So then I went to school on the Tuesday and I just wore it on my face. <laughs> and and <clears throat> even just talking to certain people, I just started to cry because I was feeling so discouraged. But um, that is where kind of God, when you talk to him, because the Monday I, I prayed to him, I talked to him, I said, what's going on here? I'm feeling so discouraged. I want to just give up. I'm telling him, I just want to give up right now. And I feel like on the Tuesday, he put people in my path to talk to me that day. I had... Um, even a couple of the students, the other classmates I have, um, the, the, the school pastor, uh, a couple, two teachers, um, and the student dean. And I just feel like they helped me to realize that they all told me the same thing, actually, that, you know what, it takes time that everybody's feeling the same way. I'm not alone. It's very overwhelming. And... I have to give it some time, give it a couple of weeks. Um, one of the teachers even showed me um, her day timer that she uses and she color quotes all the stuff 
that she has to do. And she just said, color quote, everything you have to do, when it's due, when you should do it. Um, and that made me feel a lot better. I also, when I went to speak to the dean, um, I he actually changed a couple things for me in my schedule. And it took a huge weight off my shoulders because it gives me the opportunity to stay home on the Mondays and then just do my courses on the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I was super appreciative of that. And um, this just shows you that you're, I'm not alone. <laughs> Um, that was a huge thing. And I know I mentioned this last week that, you know what, there's people that are going to be in my life during this process, no matter how hard it gets, I can go to them for encouragement, for prayer. Um, so that was good. So that was on Tuesday though. <laughs> so it was feeling fantastic Tuesday. Then Wednesday comes Tuesday night. I had to finish my video, uh, finish that was feeling good. Wednesday comes and I had to do another paper. <laughs> and again, it's that, you know, because you're having to, these papers are, so we had to write a vision intention in means to um, a, a revelation in our life, which is deep. <laughs> it's so deep. So not only are I'm feeling overrun with all of the work and the papers and the video and everything that has to be done, I feel like I'm doing work in myself. I'm, I'm digging deep. Um, but I guess that's what they want you to do. <laughs> um, they want you to, to dig deep. So again, was feeling a little discouraged on Thursday again. Um, and just continue to um, have people in my life right now um, in the school tell me, encourage me that everything's going to be okay. Um, so I am going to take some advice from some people and do my best to just take it day by day because I feel I'm looking so far ahead. I'm getting overwhelmed <clears throat> and it's very difficult for me. Um, so I'm going to take it day by day. What do I have to do today? Let's get it done. I can do this. <laughs> I can do this. Um, I also just wanted to share a story. I have a story this week, a God moment <laughs> this week that I wanted to share with everyone. He shows up for me all the time. So I am so grateful for him because he really do. He really does. Um, show up for me just at the right. His timing is so precise. Um, so I tend to carry a lot of stuff on my shoulders. I um, carry the worries and the anxiety of my daughters. I carry if there's stuff going on with my family. I carry um, the changes in my life. Uh, I carry everything on my shoulders. And sometimes it gets really heavy. So I feel like my family right now is going through a season of mourning for my dad. <clears throat> and this is where the quiver is going to start. <laughs> my daughter, my youngest daughter, is crying every night before she goes to bed. She's just saying, I want to see him one more time. And it's so difficult for me because I want to stay strong. But at the same time, I'm mourning as well. So anyways, it's, I feel like it's a season right now. And it's funny that we, I feel like my family, we kind of go through the same season when, when it comes to mourning for my dad. Oh, I can't believe I'm crying. Sorry. Uh, this is reality here. Um, but... God came to me on Thursday morning. I was um, I was getting ready for school. I was rushing, number one. Um, I was getting ready for school and I was packing up all my stuff. I had my lunch bag. I had my Bible. I had my 
um, school bag. I had my purse and then I made breakfast for myself. I made toast with peanut butter and that thought went through my head as I'm grabbing everything to go out the door. I'm like, okay, I can do this in one trip, pick everything up and I can do this or I can do two trips. I can leave some stuff and then um, carry it to the car and grab the other stuff and do it in two trips, not carry too much. What did I decide to do? I'm like, I can do this. I can pick everything up and along with my toast and I can take everything to the car one shot so I don't have to come back. Did I not put, pick everything up? I put on my backpack, I put all of the stuff on my arms and I grab my toast and it was almost like one of those moments, it was slow-mo. Um, sorry. <laughs> it was slow-mo. And I just watched my toast tumble down to the ground, face down on the peanut butter. And I heard a voice say, don't carry too much. This was a God moment for me. I had to sit down for a second because he's telling me, don't carry too much. If you carry too much, then you're going to fall peanut butter face down. <laughs> so it was, it was a check for me in my life right now because I'm carrying so much. And I need to learn to take it all in stride. Like like my, my, my bags, I needed to take it in two lump sums instead of one. Take it all in one time. So I just wanted to share that story with you today because I feel it's going to encourage other people to realize not to carry so much. You can only control so many things. And that's another control thing for me. Give him control and let him carry some stuff. That's good, right? <laughs> let God carry some stuff for you. Um, don't carry. Don't try and carry it all on your own or you're going to fall. And you will fall peanut butter face down. So I just encourage you guys with that today. Um, and encourage myself, remind myself that I need to take it day by day. I need to not carry so much stuff and I can do this. I can do this. Um, I, I also had, um, we had a girls night for our church and, um, the pastor's wife, Josie, uh, gave us all a little gift and it was a saying and mine was amazing. <laughs> search for your inner Beyonce or bring out your inner Beyonce. Um, and I thought it was just perfect timing for me. Um, and then I had a message this morning also from uh, one of my old colleagues um, at my organization I, organization I worked for. And she was like, I am at conf a conference and there's this guest speaker and she's reminding me so much of you and you're going to do so great. And she just encouraged me in that moment that I can do this, that there, there's a point for all this. I meant to go somewhere and, and I will, I will, I will do this. I will do this with God. I will do this with the encouragement and support of others. And I am so thankful that I'm at master's college and seminary. The support I'm getting from the teachers and the faculty there is undescribable. So I thank you all. If you, any of you watch these videos, um, I just thank you for the encouragement and I will keep trucking. So until next week, uh, if you guys could remember to like and subscribe to the videos and hit the, be hit the bell notification at the bottom. Thanks, guys, and see you next week.